Hi everyone, uh, today's Sunday and I've thoroughly enjoyed gathering with God's people to encourage others and be encouraged from God's word to be who we are in Christ for his glory. At all services today I made a couple of announcements which I thought might be good to put online as well. Uh, firstly, on Thursday of this week St Peter's will purchase a block of land in Glen Street, Coldale for the purpose of establishing an outdoor gathering place for the Coldale Front Yard Church. Now this is something we've been praying about and working towards for many months now and it's something we should really thank God for. To celebrate that purchase this Thursday we'll be having a Bible storytelling dinner in Auntie Lucy's front yard for invited guests who've been involved with the Coldale Front Yard Church from the early years. Now I wish that everyone could come but because of COVID-19 uh, we're limited to just 20 people. But please be praying for uh, that event and for Jum as he anchors that gathering. Also for Annette Gill and Jacob Ariel as they present Bible stories. I'm very excited about that evening as it represents a new stage of outreach to adults in that Coldale ministry. So do pray that God would open ears and hearts this Thursday from 6pm that people might respond to Jesus as both Saviour and Lord. Now, secondly, is an announcement with regard to church next term. At this stage, it looks as if numbers will continue to be restricted to a maximum of 100 at each gathering. Uh, with weather warming up and options becoming available for running some kids programs outdoors if necessary, uh, we think we'll return to the St Peter's site for Sunday at 10 and Sunday at 4 services in term 4. The good news is that we'll also be able to resume uh, fellowship over food with tea and coffee at that time. Now there's some planning and preparation still to do over the next few weeks to get organised to move forward with that uh, in a way that's completely COVID safe. But I think it'll be well worth the effort. Over the next few weeks I'll seek to communicate the timing of those changes clearly, uh, but from my point of view they are things to really look forward to. In the meantime, can I encourage you to persevere with gathering, uh, whether it be at St Peter's or at Corinna, uh, without food and with social distancing and the masks. Um, let's stick at it. Um, this season will pass and we must always remember that God is still sovereign, Jesus is still king and we are still his people. Thanks.